everyone and welcome back. I'm Christina aka The Variety Nerd and today is our final of four parts in our little mini Let's Build Magnolia Promenade mini build series. So in the last three episodes we focused in on a mixture of single family homes and like you no know, attached homes. And now we've got one that's well semi-attached. So basically they're like connected together but not really connected together like they're not attached to each other but they look very similar to each other so it's like two homes on one lot but before we dive into anything any further please leave a like leave a comment and also hit the subscribe button and you know support is much appreciated on the channel along with all the social media links down in the description down below including twitch twitter all that kind of good stuff and also that is where you will find the link to the save file progress Google Sheet. So that way you all can see in real time where I'm at and it helps me make sure that I'm on track and you know marking off the right houses and all that kind of good stuff. So a uh, full disclaimer I am recording this the morning of moving so it's like 8:40, no 8 32 in the morning and I'm gonna be starting to move at around like 11 11 30 so we're really crunching it on time so hopefully by the time this video is out which I think should be Monday. Um, we'll have internet in the new apartment. Again, we'll do a vlog once we're a little bit more settled in. That sort of thing. So without further ado, let's jump right into the build. I say as I've had a minute and a half long intro, but that is fine. Either way around, we've got ourselves a situation here. So I was going to go with four smaller houses. Well, like it's more, more like decent sized houses, but I was originally going to try to go for like lofts. You know, loft style um, set up over here. I was trying to block off a lot of these, like, you know, inner spaces so that way they had a little shred of privacy and, like, could have, you know, somewhere to put trash bins and stuff like that. I say is I never put in trash bins and anything. But we do a little bit of landscaping over here. We don't do a lot of landscaping, if at all, just because, like, it didn't really need it. I don't know. I just didn't feel like it because by the, when I was recording this video, it was nearly like two in the morning when I was finishing this up. So kind of bear with me a little bit on that, but that's fine. We're going to be just fine. Am I right? Right. So we've got ourselves some coffee. We're going to sit back, relax, just enjoy everything and just, you know, go on and just enjoy, enjoy the ride. So, yeah, anyway around, got some breakfast, got some coffee, so get your choice of beverage and go get your snacks or, you know, your food, that sort of thing, and we're going to relax a little bit. So, yeah, I really like this little area that I have here in the center. I don't remember if I kept it or not. I'm pretty positive I do, but we ultimately only end up with two out of these four houses that we've created. As you can see, you can comfortably fit four nice-sized lots on this thing. My original vision actually was to have like a bridge, but but that bridge had like a pool, but that clearly didn't happen. So, you know, it, it happens, right? Right. Just life happens. But you get two sized, decently sized bedrooms and you get two decently sized bathrooms. And by decently, by decently sized, I mean like two full bathrooms, no, like half bathroom garbage, that sort of thing. trying to wait for my coffee to cool down a little bit so that way I can actually like have some sort of caffeine so that way you know we're good <laughs> anyway so yeah this is the part where I start to delete everything and I'm like having an existential crisis about it but there's plenty of outdoor spaces you can see here so I add in these decks because I felt like the decks were kind of needed in that backyard space, I wanted there to be a lot of space indoors and outdoors. So you can have a nice little lounge area on the front. You can have a nice little lounge area on the second floor. And you can have a nice like deck where you can grill and like hang out with friends in the backyard area. So yeah, there's also plenty of space back there too if you want to add like a pool that they can share or something like that. Stuff like that. So that way everybody can, you know, community just outlets and platforms that sort of thing so that's kind of what I was thinking for that again not a whole lot going on here we kept it simple with the windows we kept it simple with 
everything, really, I would say. We, we kept it simple in terms of, like, a shell or a layout, that sort of thing. So we end up just creating a little bit of space up here. And also, out of all the houses that I think I built for this mini Let's Play or Let's Build series, I should say, I think this one was probably the one where I decorated it the least, probably, at least on the second floor. But that's because, like, that was kind of a precedent just because of the fact that, well, yours truly wanted to um, make sure that there was some blank space so that way you all can enjoy and, you know, do what you want with it. The layout's there, but, like, your sims might have different hobbies. They might have guitars, they might have painting easels, or they might need a knitting space because, you know, Nifty Knitting comes out tomorrow, which we'll do a review type of video, I think, for Nifty Knitting. Like, I've been trying to figure out how to handle the stuff packs because I don't think that needs a series or anything like that. Like, maybe a handful of videos, like, okay, here's, like, build and buy, that sort of thing. So we might do a build video or two using Nifty Knitting. Nifty Knitting. Whew! Oh, boy. <laughs> so there you have it. We might do a build. We might just, you know, do review, that sort of thing. That way... Oh, God. Sorry, everyone. We're trying to wake up a little bit here. <laughs> Last video, it was me falling asleep at, like, 2-something in the morning. This time, it's me at 8-something in the morning trying to wake up. But no worries. We got coffee. Just needs to cool down just a tad bit. So, yeah. And like I've mentioned before, we'll do a little bit of a vlog or, like, a apartment tour once I'm a little bit more settled in and that sort of thing. But, for now, we've got ourselves this house. So... Very much like the, so this one in the exterior kind of does a little bit of all three so far. So we have one that's more like, you know, a little bit of brick on the bottom and then lots more like just white plaster. The other two houses have just a very bricky exterior. This one has half and half. The first level has this brick layer to it and then the second floor has that white plaster. So if, if you're familiar with City Living and the old Salt House, that's where the inspiration came from for that exterior right there. And so I kept it kind of white and bright in here, I think, just because I felt like it was a good, like, happy medium, I think. It was a little bit different than what we were doing in some of the other houses. And also, I never used that, like, we're going to call that a bar stool, but it's a medical stool, technically, because I came and get to work and all that. But, like, I always try to use a piece of furniture or a decor object or two that I never really use. I like to keep things fresh, and I like to switch things up a little bit. So, again, we kept the exterior pretty simple. And so I wanted to have some fun with the colors a little bit. That sort of thing. So we only have six in there just because, well, it looks nicer to be completely honest. But now we are heading into just getting some lighting in here. We don't go with the huge bright saucer lights for this one just because it, I wanted it to be a little bit more cozy, I think. So that was kind of the logic there. We're starting to get up to the exterior a little bit more. As you can see, we have that, like... We have two outdoor living spaces. You can connect a ladder if you would desire or want to do so from that like living room space or that rooftop living space or yeah, the outside living space. There we go. That's what we'll call it. So yeah, you can include a ladder to go up to the top from either of those living spaces, I think. So it's not like you can't do it. It's just that, you know what? Like, you have options. That's my mentality when I go in and do these builds and renovations. It's like, oh crap. <laughs> I just spilled my coffee. <gasps> this is like the second video where I've spilled coffee. And it's, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, Jesus, take the wheel. So, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on in this space, right? So we've got a layout. We've got something that's kind of working. So I like to have an idea and I like to have the layout in there, but it's up to you. If you want to switch the color palette, cool. If you want to, like, completely gut the furniture and get rid of it, cool. But at least the layout is there. I try to think of, like, a functioning layout that works and makes logical sense. So one half, this part is a little bit more decorated than the other half, but like there's different skills in each place. So the other space has like reading and books and stuff like that. 
and it's much more of a social space I would say the other space is very much more for the arts person that sort of thing as you can see here so yeah we're there's a balance I think right there's a little bit of a balance I mean there has to be a balance in this whole situation so that was kind of what we were going for here you know a couple different personalities or different types of houses that way it looks a little bit more lived in. I definitely decorated one side more than the other side. And this is the side that's a little bit more decorated than the other side. So at least I'm like more, at least I'm owning up to that. But I just really like how this turned out. So we have some slightly different furnishings in each space, that sort of thing. But as you can see on both sides, you have plenty of room to kind of play around with it and just play around with what your sim needs and all that. So the layout is very flexible you can always convert like maybe that kitchen space into a bedroom space or something along those lines as well so it's not like you can't like play around with this thing like that's that's my goal i want i want like the i want the user to whoever's downloading this house and any of my houses really is to have a functioning space that makes sense. So, for example, I don't go all out on, like, these living spaces or anything like that. I keep, like, two out of the three outside spaces blank, kind of for a reason, but that's just because I want it to be, like, flexible and stuff like that. So, I hope you'll appreciate that just a tad bit. Like, you can tell downstairs where you can sort of maybe section off, like, a small bedroom or, like, a guest room or even a toddler room. You know, whatever your choice of tea is or your choice of coffee as you can see you gotta save you know because you know you gotta save your work every now and then also I'm 90% positive that bathroom that I'm using for this space is brand new like not the objects but like the custom room itself I'm pretty positive that is new I think I mentioned that in the last video but I could be super duper wrong again the first two videos I recorded for this Let's Build series were before the July 23rd patch. So just keep that in mind just, just a tad bit. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my laptop. It's like saying that it's like charged and then it's not charged. But here we are. But no, we're going to be all good. So yeah, we've got some stuff going on in here. I try to utilize like, you know, some of this pre-built stuff that we've got going on here but just in different colors and swatches and so that was kind of my logic for this one just in general I wanted it to flow a little bit and just you know we gotta have something a little bit cozy and quaint and so that was kind of what I went for just in general with the bedrooms I didn't put dressers or anything like that in there but if you want to you can so you can always include like posters or really anything that'll, you know, just make things just pop out a little bit more. And so that was what I was thinking for these builds. Just, you know, when I, whenever I think about it, it's like I like to decorate things, but I don't want to go overboard with it, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't want to just have one particular sim in mind. I want to have, like, you know, an open layout so that way you all can personalize these builds to your, you know, you know, how you want to play your game so for example I have like four double beds so you might have a family that might need an extra room so you can always move around like you can always cut off one of the bedrooms and you know add an extra bedroom or you know move a bathroom you know whatever it is the goal is to make these as functional as possible that sort of thing I make the layout to not be like set in stone right so it's like you want to have a functioning layout so like where that second bathroom is in that corner you can easily convert that space into a kids room if you want to so yeah you can do little things like that and kind of navigate your the waters from there but sometimes you know less is more when it comes to building right so sometimes you just need a nice rug sometimes you just need a plant Sometimes less is indeed more. That is kind of the goal right there. And you'll sort of see that I try to have like a desk on each side at the very least. I'm trying to put some items here, but then I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just have a nice little desk and chair on each side. It kind of works. At least in my opinion, it works. And we are about to jump right into the screenshots. So here we go. That is the exterior of this house. 
And we're just going to dive right into the screenshots. There are plenty of them, so kind of hang in there for the last, like, about 30 seconds of the video or so. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff here on the channel. All the links, including Twitch and social media, are down in the description down below. And hopefully we'll be back up and moving soon. So on that note, thank you all super duper much for watching. I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.